Netflix, the world's largest streaming service, has announced its quarterly earnings, and boy, oh boy, what a report. In this video, we're going to talk about that quarterly earnings result and how it's impacted the company and the projections for the company and the stock in the future. We'll also talk about the latest news about Netflix company and some of the, its uh, top hits that it's planning for in the year to come. So let's get into it. I would like to extend a heartfelt welcome to you all. Netflix has posted adjusted earnings per share of $1.33, well surpassing analyst consensus estimate of 82 cents. However, the reaction to their latest earnings report has been very negative and the stock has plunged almost 20% in after hours trading. The stock was down by over $100 at one point to form the new 52 week low if that price stays uh, when the market opens on the next trading day. Prior to this massive decline, the lowest price for the stock was at $478.54, and the highest price was at $700.99 per share. Netflix reported that it added a net 8.28 million global streaming subscribers in its fourth quarter, a gain of 8.9% over the same quarter a year ago but down from a projection of 8.5 million for the quarter in October and sharply slower from a 21.9% expansion in the fourth quarter of 2020. It is worth mentioning that Netflix announced that it is raising the price on its plans in the United States and Canada as a way to increase its revenue. For the quarter ahead in 2022, Netflix has projected a $7.9 billion increase in revenue when the increase in subscription fields will be partially reflected though existing users in Canada and US were given 30 days before they see an increase on their monthly bill. Netflix has projected it would add 2.5 million new customers from the first quarter of 2022, uh, that is January through March of this year, which is less than half of the 5.9 million uh, subscribers that analysts had initially forecasted. The projection for the first quarter of 2022 is a steep drop off from the fourth quarter of last year, where Netflix added 8.3 million customers from October to December. In other news, Netflix plans to bring 25 new South Korean shows and movies to its streaming service in 2022. This follows the successful release of Squid Games, which last quarter, two thirds of Netflix subscribers watched the show. The show was the most viewed on Netflix in 94 countries at its peak, and 95% of viewership came from outside of South Korea. Netflix is developing a high school zombie show called All of Us Are Dead, Money Heist Korea Joint Economic Area, an adaptation of popular Spanish series, and Soul Vibe, an action film placed against the backdrop of the 1968 Seoul Olympic Games. The Squid Game, a surprise hit from South Korea that became the streaming service's most watched show in history, was just the tip of the iceberg from the company, which says that the overall global viewing hours of its South Korean show grew sixfold in 2021 when compared to 2019. Are you a Netflix subscriber? And what are your thoughts about the future of Netflix as a company and business? As for me, I'm a shareholder of Netflix and do plan to buy and add to my existing shares of Netflix, especially given a massive pullback potential uh, that exists out there. I believe that Netflix is an innovative company that with its massive amounts of investments in making new contents for the years to come can continue to uh, remain a global leader when it comes to online streaming services. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it provided you some good insights and information about Netflix and its prospects in terms of the plans that it has and the reaction of the market to its latest quarterly earnings. If you found this video beneficial, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here on Momentum Finance, we post every week several videos, including videos about investing in the stock market, real estate, and crypto, as well as ways to reach financial freedom. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time. Oh,